I'm going to be honest with y'all. I underestimated you. I truly did. We're about to have another unbelievable episode of Cody vs. GM mode. It's our SummerSlam special. There's a lot of beef in the ring if you're caught up on the playlist, but I'm here to let you know that the reason we're getting that extra spectator match is because of y'all. We put out a goal that said if you get to 600 subs on the channel before we record this video, we'll add an extra match and we got a, we hit 800 during the recording. You all have been killing us so much. I just want to say thank you again and also give you a heads up because if you've been loving the spectating side of things when we watch matches on pay-per-view, the video after this one is going to be incredible too because it is our bragging rights special. We look to bring a little sizzle to GM mode that's a little different. So once per season, we will have our brands competing in a series of triple threat style matches, earning points along the way to crown who has brand supremacy. Whatever brand finishes first gets to steal a superstar from the brand that finishes in last. So the next video has got a lot of stakes. In this video, it's got a lot of beef. Sit back and enjoy as we present to you the booking and the spectating for SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the biggest party of the summer, even though it's the middle of April at the time of recording. It is SummerSlam, or for some brands, it is Summer Slam Witch. And mm -hmm. it is going to be all the beef from WCW and us other three brands just trying to find a way to uh, compete. So I'm going to send Canada into the trenches here because he's got the first booking for SummerSlam. But Cheek, as Canada gets started up, how uh, how do you how do you feel coming today? Well, I feel really good, and what I don't that? know I don't know if I want to break the news or Cody if you want to break the news. But we just hit 800 subscribers <laughs> on the Codyverse channel on YouTube. Oh and my! We thank you. We thank you for that. We are extremely blessed for that. So let's go. We but this. oh sorry sorry i'll finish my piece i'll let you guys chime in but and arguably even bigger news we have a big oh. big show today a behemoth of a show today on summer slam which meat mountain the battle of the beef the beef belt will be crowned to a champion today we have two special fatal four ways planned for you guys so stick around because it's gonna be awesome Mm, love that. That was such a good setup. Mm. And on my part, in, over <clears throat> on SmackDown for SummerSlam, um, yeah, you know, we're going to have a great show. As always, appreciate everyone with the love on the channel. Let's get into what this show looks like. We did not get played this, uh, just a minute played this this pay-per-view, thank God. He only two, gets right? one of those only... a season. Oh, thing. I thought he had two. No, no, you're the one with two. You're yeah, the one. With two. I'm the one that's gonna screw you guys twice, but you're safe oh, today. Sick. sick. Okay, so I think first things first, we're getting the branded pay per view, even though we only have 126. Uh, let's let's book a show first. <laughs> Ooh. Show first. Let's not get. Okay, here we go. Finally, the level four comes to a draw. The world title is on the line. I saw that Triple H wanted a submission submission match. Too bad it's not gonna be this one because. Uh, a table is going to get the bonus here. It's 6,000. We are going to rock a tables match for the main event. And to open the show, whew, we have a new Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> That's all Seth Rollins laughs. Oh, like man. I, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to kick this off with a level four feud instead. 36,000 is a tough one to bite there. I kind of wanted to make it a TLC. Uh, Oh, Extreme Rules for a pay-per-view bonus. And guess Ooh. what it's going to be? It's going to be an Extreme Rules match. We're finally going to get to see the conclusion of the opener of Ivar and Veer versus Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes. It is a title match. Don't forget to turn that on. <laughs> Our mid-card, guess who it is? Oh, man. I wish winner gets to be have... Hulk Hogan's partner. <laughs> and <laughs> winner gets exactly. <laughs> um, we do not have a thing which is fine uh -oh. what That's thing fine. do we not have sorry oh uh, sorry the steel cage match to end that feud early oh um, yeah that really hurts okay self promo what, what do you have to do to get it 
That is uh, the pyro logistic or special effects. Pyro. I think is what it's called. Ooh. Get it, you yeah. coward. That, I bought that one that. last week. So I was like, I don't know what I'm going to finish with the pay-per-view and what I might Maybe need. Maybe I get after. that. We got an extreme rules match. Oh, man. We're going to have a call out. We're going to have a soft promo. Uh, the tag. Oh, by the way, we said last week we're testing it. The tag call out does not work for the call out promo because we were at 7 out of 10. Ooh, we're still at 7 <laughs> out of 10. So tag call outs do not work for booking call out promos for the seasonal challenges. Interesting. Uh, and the one I questioned uh, last week, during the live, I noticed it uh, where I got confused that me booking two tables matches didn't go up by two. It definitely went up by two. I just have the memory of a goldfish. Oh, not bad. I was too busy just being appreciative of all the people subscribing to the channel and you know, no get us 800. It was just so distracting. I'm always distracted. Oh, sorry. I just saw a squirrel run by. Uh -huh. All right, we have uh, Liv is against Alexa Bliss. Oh, I'm oh, we're not gonna have two steel cage matches then. Paper or er, feuds <laughs> here, so um, I think the ladies are gonna get the night off with their 38 stamina. Unfortunately, uh, the call out. We're gonna do. She's like, you did an advertising campaign. I'm calling you out for sure. And I think I want to do oh. Only do a class change on. Yeah, you things? have to be level 15 to be able to change. Got your class. you. Interesting. New revelations that we are learning here on the show together, all at once. Oh, the match! I almost, I almost have to view this one, don't I? <laughs> like, I almost have to view this one. Um, I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a GM interference just so I can't view this match. How about that? Remove your temptation. Ooh. Yeah, remove the temptation. Okay, because we need to book GM interferences. Uh, we are going to book... I kind of want to book Hulk Hogan against Apollo Crews just for the fun funsies of it, but... We have... This is... Okay, okay, okay. We have... I want to put my title on the line. I might, have to, I might have to... I might have to sign someone. I might have to sign Ooh. someone. Ooh! Franchise signings are always exciting. We're gonna, oh brother, dude. I think we're gonna rock this, I think. The rock's not in that. No, Ooh. the rock is not in that. I just need to see what I'm left with. We're left with kind of garbage, oh, wow. garbage time here. Wow, imagine saying that about Piper Niven. Pipes, the pipes. The pipes are calling. I might just have to make this an interesting extreme rules match for the, for the folks not in this one. The ladies are getting the night off. That one hurts. Let it be known that we at w ECW and I assume WCW do not condone the sexist actions of SmackDown. What do you mean? The women are the women are literally running the promotions. They're running the promotions. This is true. This is true. And and they're get, they literally have had too much. They they have no stamina. Then again, nobody has stamina. Anywho, this. Is looking like our show. Do I get wait? What which one was it? The this one backstage crew? No, that's false count anywhere. Uh, this, got, yeah, that's steel cage. Yeah, it's the fog effects for the steel cage. Do I want to be able to end? No, that's a level. No, I don't think I have any of it right now. I didn't put any level threes, so I'm not gonna buy it. I uh, sixty four thousand. If I buy the branded pay per view bonus, that brings us up to ooh, quick math one hundred and fourteen thousand. It's 50,000. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to do it. It's SummerSlam. Time to crank up the heat, baby. Let's go. Bang. Crank up the heat. I didn't look at any power cards. Injury rehab spa. That's fine. Uh, increases the fans. Cannot be used in a pay-per-view week. I wish I knew that earlier. Oh, but that's wow. That's new. Yeah, you could definitely use that in the pay-per-view last year. I did last not year know could, that. Yeah. I was also sitting on one. I don't think I'm going to fix a match and everything else is fine. Okay. I'm good with SummerSlam, baby. SummerSlam. I'm I, because, hold on. Because, I, because I've done it twice now in the past two weeks, I'm making sure my curve is good. We're opening with the tag match. This is a level four. This is going to pop crazy. It's a extreme rules match. This is also an extreme rules match just for like 
the lore, I'm going to do this. Uh, I meant to make this a title match, so I'm going to do that. That's a pretty big one that I almost missed. And <laughs> I'm happy with this. So, there it is. Let's go. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. This, no. Oh no, Triton. Triton. Look, this has got to stop. I'm seriously unhappy with this never ending string of losses. Not that I've come no. to expect any better here at WCW. <laughs> All right, guy. And then the Miz been putting in a lot of work. He wants a shot at the world title. Oh, three weeks. Jeez. You're right. You're on. The Miz. The Miz. I like the Gohanes desk. So big. Gohanes. Triple H's challenge is something to do with giants. <laughs> I just have really. to see. Oh fuck! I didn't book a submission match. That's fine. I gotta book ten tag team matches. Man, and. Can you All go right. down a few cheeks? Sorry. What? Uh, they ch they finally changed. Rather than that saying one thousand k, they made it say one million. Oh. I just happened to notice that because uh, I thought that was <laughs> so weird how they did that before. Okay, and then I gotta use fifty talent scouts. So maybe we'll uh shop for some more giants. Huh? Oh wow, Hunter wow. is not a fan. Imagine of the beef. intentionally disrespecting this show <laughs> and everything it stands for. The game uh, doesn't like the beef. Uh. Let me check my cards first here. Do you Quick. want Superstars GM or Superstars GM? <sighs> That's tough. We can only have one. All right, injury rehab reduces injury time by two weeks. And guess what? Triton. Triton, you're back. We need you. Yes. We need you here at Summer Slam, which all right so we got that back okay you can use special gonna... promotion i was just stalking as you move through cards so special promotion can be used pay-per-view but i guess network special can't this year hmm. all right well i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna wait till one of you guys sabotage me before i sabotage. burn that and then talent scouts i need to use some so i'm gonna go ahead well wait i'm gonna book my show logistics which one gives me the steel cage Effects. Uh, effects. Just this. Just fog. the fog one. Not a lot of in feuds before. Uh, Level three or four, right? Yeah. And we're gonna get the official SummerSlam. Ah, right okay. Let's go. I wish I had that much money. I will give a small heads up for steel cages. Mm -hmm. uh, if we do a tag team, we can't spectate because there's no pinfalls or submissions, and the AI doesn't leave the cage. But I think other cage matches are fine because. There's pinfalls and submissions in them, but All another right. weird um, AI glitch this year. Is that for this? Is that for this year? Yeah, that's new this year. Oh, okay, it's gotcha. similar to like how the TLC match, Cheek had to step in and grab a ladder, but yeah. in a cage match with escape only, you, we would have to like step in and make somebody leave. So it'd be kind of a lose lose on that one. But the unless like, the you're looking to do a there. handicap match. <laughs> this is tough all right i think i'm gonna bring in a couple female giants to try oh. and steal oh. to catch another another oh yeah. yeah boys yeah boys that terrifies me so here we go so before we kick off I would just like to thank you guys for your comments, and I do want to bless the show by starting it out with my haiku for oh. for the beef belts. <clears throat> so here we go. And for those of you at home, I did check this. So the haiku is the five seven five format for your syllables. I did run this through a machine, so don't question me. I'm gonna do the okay. little claps quietly to see if it's right. <clears throat> here we go. Your Meat Mountain Haiku. Oh, I thought that was first line. No, this is. All right. Big Meat Men Wrestle. The Beef Belt is decided. Girth for what it's worth. Perfect. 575. Five. Right. Dial it all up. All right. All right. All right. Some of you might get that tattooed on you. If you do, let me know. All right. Let's do a fatal four way. <laughs> That first Deal Cody versus tattoo is going to hit like crazy. 
<laughs> and it's just big meat men wrestle tatted on someone's <laughs> forearm. All right, so for the beef belt, Andre the Giant. This was the most commonly requested uh, four-way matchup we got. So it was um, Andre the Giant, Braun Strowman, mm. Rikishi's luscious cheeks, and Kane. So that is your official four-way for one of the matches. Then, in a tables match for the other beef belt, we have the Red Flame. We will go to John the Fish Herman. And Triton, who is very angry, coming off of injury, we're going to throw him <laughs> right back. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bud. Ring. And then we got the Red Monsoon. Yes, sadly, Olaf Ostrovsky is the odd man out. So, this is your second Fatal 4-Way match. And then, in the female Fatal 4-Way, we have the new coming Giants, Raquel Rodriguez, wow. Sally Steamroller, and then we are going to have to throw in Ooh, Indy, Hartwell, yeah. Indy Hartwell and Blair Davenport with their rivalry. We will keep that alive here and hopefully these big ladies can squeak out the win because that'll give me one final push on my bottom line and then in our main event who this is tough we gotta have gotta have roman reigns against the miz who wanted a title shot and now he will get that shot and it's gonna be in a tables match because I can't afford much else. And then we are going to have in the final match, let's see. <sighs> we got to have Rhea Ripley. We got to throw her in a title match. I know. I know there's no rivalry here, but I'm up against The Rock in a hard place. Mm. And then the Rock. Cody Rhodes. I'm going to have himself promo scripts it's gonna call out cody and i'll push that rivalry to the next pay-per-view i want to have hmm kira let's do a tag team call out so i will say since it's already level four ah uh, true that won't Ugh. really do anything hmm you know what? I'm going to have that instead. The end of the ultimate tag feud. It is. So we're going to have... <clears throat> Uncle Rico makes their return. For my shot. Against... Mortality. Akira. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah. Uh, Scripps is the other champ, so you'd have to remove his promo. Okay. That's fine. Uh, how do you just clear? Okay. Alright. Gosh dang it. Now I gotta do this again. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Gosh. That's just the chaos of pay per view booking. There we go. Oh, reason. there we go. We made up time there. Alright. And I'll give you one more just heads up for that main event since it is heel heel. I would I would mm -hmm. advise either putting it somewhere else on the card or adding a third person for a triple threat. Just because that'll probably okay. hurt the rating. I think we're gonna do this. I think that's probably a, a good curve, maybe. Unless this should go first. It's tough. And then you would just need to put one of your faces, any of the other three would work actually. Or you can make it another four way and hope Olaf wins that. Ooh. So you get 160,000 on the way out. All right, we might as well. We have nothing to lose. <laughs> now, Olaf, is all giants are wrestling. What if he wins the title? Then it's a new era, baby. But at what cost? All right. And then Rhea Ripley is just going to self-promo. The Girdster. I want to have him do advertising for us, same as Zoe Stark. And that, now that's a show. That is a lot of beef. That's a lot of beef. So much beef. 
right. I really, I really hope Olaf wins that. Actually, now I do too, dude. That would also make Olaf the representative for bragging rights. That's insane for the world title triple threat. So, I think that's our show. And Woo! I got all my cards in place. All the belts are in place. Damn. That's a... I this, I kind of hope that. you go four for four on the beef, like just to oh, see you get man. how much money you get, because it's a pay per view this... too, so you're already gonna earn more. That is a true summer slam, which let's go. All right, EC Dub. You see, couple expiring contracts. So Biggie, I'm gonna talk to first because I do want to keep him. Nikki Cross is just upset because I had a GM interference last week to help Bianca. Sami Zayn wants a rematch. That's the plan. So we're gonna make that happen. Okay, so we're gonna talk to Biggie first. 103k for another five weeks. This is kind of the same spot I put myself in with Dude Love. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sign Big E for his price. I think I'm gonna risk Die Jack walking out of ECW as the world champion. He would go to free agency and would vacate it, but I think we'll risk that. And for bragging rights purposes, if Die Jack were to win, he will still represent my brand. We'll treat that as like his final act but i don't think i'm gonna be able to sign them both unless i lowball and i don't really want to keep lowballing so biggie gets a small increase die jack oh i read that as six oh well, hold on i'd love to but i just don't have the money for it that's that's for true city okay i'm gonna hope for a power card that's tough. I need Logan Paul this week, though. He's one of my mid-card champs. Um, give me a contract extension card. They did not. And I do not have one I'm sitting on. Okay. Um, so downside is I've yet again done a poor job at math because I will not be getting the SummerSlam logistic by that contract extension. Do I have somebody I want to send to the curb to get me 15K? I like Chelsea Green, but I don't have her in anything right now. Nikki Cross, I like, but she's currently annoyed. And I could get 75K for her. I think we're going to... I hate doing it. I like Nikki Cross, but I think we're going to send Nikki Cross out. We'll supplement her with somebody else in the women's division. Uh, but I want, I want that uh, SummerSlam boost this week. Who's so sexist now, who's sexist now? Mm, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't remove any women. Hmm. Mine are competing though. We're making things happen, and we're doing that without a title. That's how much <laughs> ECW. They're trying to hold. They're, they're telling me not to book the women. I'm like, no, no, no. I have to because I care. Okay, so we're gonna grab this SummerSlam cutie patootie logistic and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and use not that uh i get twice per season all matches are free to book we're gonna use this this week and we're gonna start tossing stuff on the card and then i'll figure out the match order so die jack and sammy is world title whoops and then I'm going to, as much as I would love that to the moon card, I feel like I'd really be hurting myself not having only like only having the two title matches. I feel like that would set me on bad pay-per-view. So Logan Paul, Big E, and then Gunther probably inserts himself in one of those two um, tag titles. Here, so Elton Prince and Kit Wilson against Duke Hudson, Andre Chase, pretty deadly, and Chase U will end their feud. Then we've got Bianca and Dakota Kai finishing their feud, and then Ludwig Kaiser and Nathan Frazier finishing their feud. I'm actually not going to insert Gunther because we need promos. So Gunther cuts promo, Chelsea Green cuts promo and then 
see what the free people have on the mic if i think i can make more in advertising than the cost of their contract so one two one one so he's got two for 2200 i'll take that little risk see if he can make me more than he costs for ch 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 chosen and then we're gonna bring in Beth Spartan <laughs> to cut one, I, I think. I think the ECW just to cut a promo and, and then, get kicked off. Yeah, actually no, Jackson Smooth. He's only sixteen hundred. Even better. Even though, so we'll see. Twenty two hundred here, sixteen hundred here. So I spent thirty eight hundred for two advertising promos. We'll see if I make that back or not. It's a risk I have to take. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, okay, so now stipulations and match order here. Everything is level four, except this is level three. Uh, that'll finish. So we'll check specialties here. Nothing there. Okay, they are one of them is a specialist in a cage, so might do it for the hell of it. Nothing there. And TLC for these guys. So you're gonna find a TLC match. You guys are gonna fight in a steel cage match. We're gonna give the tag feud extreme rules. We're gonna give the level three feud extreme rules and then additional robbery chance doesn't do anything here i might do <coughs> excuse me i might do the double steel cage match um just to get like the the fan bonus so 1000 fans and an additional 1000 fans per rivalry <coughs> Ra holy shit rivalry rivalry weather so that would basically be if i assume i get for level four here for both of these so that would essentially be like an extra ten thousand fans by doing that i'm guessing it's not quite you know getting one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, but it's honest work um okay i feel like logan paul and biggie have to main so we're gonna put these guys down here and I think these guys open. I think Sammy's popularity can carry there. And I think we're golden. If I have a pre-match physio, I'll use that on Kaiser or Frazier. If not, we're going to take the chance. I do not. So we're going to take the chance. We do have an injury rehab, I guess, if I screw somebody. Fix match, I'll save. I'm trying to determine if I want to use a special promotion. I think I'm going to leave it just because we have match stipulations. This should do well for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully save that for somewhere else. Do I want to do something else with Gunther? No, you can advertise. You're just going to advertise. We're going to get some money back. We don't get the goal. I didn't really pay attention to this, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get another TLC match. We got another tag match. GM interference I'll do on weeklies. Tables matches I'll do on weeklies. I think we're good. We're going to send it in and hope for a really special SummerSlam. It cost me $2,500 to put this one together. Ooh. 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 That's a, that's a <laughs> SummerSlam. A SummerSlam, which must be on sale. Um, okay. So speaking of cheap, here's the SmackDown. Speaking of amazing, amazing, amazing uh, shows, we have SmackDown. We, as much as I love the tag feud here, we're not watching the tag match. Aww, oh, 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 they keep their tag belts. They are oh, in a classic match. The rivalry is completed, opening the door for maybe Hogan to get in there with his tag partner of choice, whoever that may be in the future. Uh, Valhalla cuts the promo, gets a good little popularity boost. She's been doing that quite a bit. Maybe has to get back into the women's division. In the mid card, 
no we can't because uh, we did the gm interference i got you all i got you all <laughs> i got you uh this is also a good uh feud this should end the feud in a great match rivalry completed coffee loomis alexa bliss it cuts an advertising promo she can take the hit she gets us 14 grand that's almost like a uh, big beefy fatal four-way mm. the extreme rules match paul Cruz, tyler berate and chad gable i'm not expecting a lot out of this one this is kind of our throw it together match so let's see let's get like a Ooh. tyler Bray wins that one in an okay match <laughs> Luckily, we threw extreme rules on that. That probably helped that quite a bit. Call out Liv Morgan calls out Alexa Bliss uh, and gets that uh, to level three. Wish that was before the pay-per-view, but hey, you know, everybody has choices. So uh, in our mid card, set the freaking Rollins, Obos, and Hulkster. Uh, we're not, this is this is literally kind of like a oh. nothing, nothing burger. So guess what we're watching? We're watching the main event. Oh, oh yes! Let's yes! go for the Homo yes! Sapiens. Yes, and he has the uh, the the bonus on. So I think all of my male superstars just got a popularity bonus. Ooh, yes. Wow. Uh, Piper cuts a promo. Excellent. Gets her popularity up. Hey, Piper. Good job. And the main event tables match. The bisexual Undertaker takes on the Canadian Kevin Owens. And I think I'm biased on this one because we have. Kevin Owens kind of dropped in the popularity ratings, but this is a level four. So we are going to spectate our main event of SummerSlam. Look at that car driving. Pretty cool. Meow. That's what that car sounds like. Yeah, it does. In Detroit. We're in Detroit. Okay. All right. SummerSlam was. I, don't, I didn't pay attention to where they put us. Right. They probably put us in like South Carolina or something. Uh, and, and Cody, I think I just didn't remember. Did you buy the SummerSlam bonus or no? I did, yeah. Okay, okay. So everybody's got the bonus. Yeah, yeah. Portland, yeah. Oregon. Okay, we're in Portland, not Detroit. <laughs> we're just reusing, the, we're reusing logos. <laughs> Sponsored by Slim Jim. <laughs> Unlike the big beefy. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't fit with our scene on WCW. No, that's sponsored by Arby's. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I want to, as Kevin Owens comes out here, this is, we like to remind you guys, if you aren't caught up to watch the playlist, hopefully if you're here at SummerSlam with us, you've seen everything to this point, but last month, we saw Kevin Owens light a table on fire. It didn't get used. I mean, maybe he saves the flaming table for, for the table's match itself. I love that. I need that. I need that and as the uh, resident canadian i am kind of rooting for him i don't know if a lower popularity superstar wins the match if it hurts the match because the bisexual undertaker is around 80 popularity i think it was and kevin owens i guess he's lost a few of his last matches dropped down to a 53 kind of hurt um so if it does hurt the popularity rating for him to win i guess i kind of have to uh i'm gonna have to root for the bisexual undertaker but it's hard to root against the canadian hey Cheek, as an American, where where do you where do your loyalties lie coming into this match? You know what? I don't have an issue with bisexual Undertaker, but we're not in Pride Month anymore. I got to roll Smith with our neighbors up Day north. I'm taking Kevin Owens. Damian I think it'll be a great fight. But man, KO tough to beat, and I hope he brought those matches because we need to see him go through the damn table. I want to see a flaming table spot. That, I just want it. Yeah, see that that's gonna determine where I'm leaning here. Because I was a little upset that Kevin Owens. I was excited he at the table, but then sad that it didn't get used. So because of that, as the bell rings. I'm Team Priest. However, if if Kevin Owens has a match and lights the table on fire, I'm instantly jumping the bandwagon to Kevin Owens for this contest. <laughs> if he lights that table on fire, you're in is what you're yeah. saying. Oh, all the way in. Set me ablaze, please. Is he the only one that can light it or can Priest light it? I think anybody can light it. It's uh, So the game mechanic for it is if you have a finisher, you can walk up to the table and use your finisher to ignite the table. Ooh. I've done it on accident before where <laughs> I was playing a match and I was trying to hit my finisher and put them through the table. And I was standing too close to the table, so then I just lit it on fire. 
Uh, but then I got hit in the middle of lighting it on fire and lost my finisher. I was pretty upset about it. It was, it was very emotional. If Priest lights it, what if it came up with purple flames? <laughs> that, that would be an in-game mechanic that would make me very happy. Mm. Mm -hmm. For the undisputed <clears throat> championship here. Universal championship. Looking so very... At the point, you paid a lot of money for this arena. I did. $50,000 for this arena. Oh, how do we turn this off? Uh, right click. The undisputed right -click. WWE Universal Championship. Um, the crowd has been buzzing about this over. all day. Right click the camera. Or then left click. Grabs, it uh, I was like, I can't I was like, one of them does it. Bang! And, well, I won't do it. I won't do it during the match. Obviously, I won't screw the integrity of the match, but... Oh, what, a, what an elbow drop. But I have been playing around with the camera angles. I could do custom camera angles, but we won't do it with a flying forearm. Won't do it to him. I, I you have, you have my absolute blessing. Yeah. Take us on a journey. I, I, I'm just nervous because like, I could do this. I'm not gonna lie. If, if I wasn't, like when I'm playing this on PlayStation for the stream, I absolutely do the custom cameras a ton. Oh. Oh my god, what a DDT. But we'll go back to the normal camera angle. Maybe if we get a good spot going, we can... Uh, see, this is oh what my. you... Oh, Whoa! That's why you call him the bisexual. That's why he's called the bisexual Undertaker, folks. Whatever that move was. Oh, David Priest trying to end this thing in a hurry. Oh, he is. Uh -oh. oh my god. No way. He is a table match specialist. No way. Table... Oh. oh. That those. table up is kind of scary. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh shit! Wow, <laughs> it was scary, and Kevin wow. Owens pulls out the quick victory. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Kevin Owens had no time to waste. No you time have to waste. Been. Kevin Owens you said, "Hey, we, we have a big beefy match. To I gotta get out of here. I'm going backstage <laughs> to watch that big beef mountain. I'm out of here." And Kevin Owens. <laughs> Holds out the victory. Get a classic nice. match. I guess it does not matter that the lower popularity uh, superstar won because we had the level four rivalry. We had the branded bonus pay per view. We had a tables match, which is bisexual Undertaker's forte. And it was just a good match all, all through. Can't deny it. And for anybody, if you're. I know we've had some people say they've been learning GMO through us, which is super cool. If you're ever curious, since that match was quick, if you're ever spectating or playing the match, the match length does not matter so if that had gone on 30 minutes it still would have been four and a half stars the ratings of the match is formed in the game logic of how you built the feud how you built the mm -hmm. match not necessarily what's happening in the match itself when yeah you play it, like, and like yeah like i was just saying it was bisexual undertaker's forte there and it's a brand new bonus pay-per-view it's a main event it's a level four all good things combined now as cheat goes to start off here it's crazy because today we're talking about hitting 800 we set an incentive to hit 600 subs before the pay-per-view. And uh, if that happened, I would let Cheek spectate two matches so there could be extra beef. Uh, we've obviously hit that. We hit 800 as the recording started. So this is a rare moment here where Cheek will be selecting two matches from this card to spectate. Yeah, this is a huge moment. Uh, partially it, because if you don't know, I did have a special shakeup card that allows me to have giants in a fatal four-way match. And if the giant wins, I get an extra 40,000. So that's why the emphasis on meat mountain and summer slam, which so without further ado, the opener, we had Roman Reigns putting his title on the line against the Miz who wanted a title shot. Shinsuke who's won a fatal four-way before and Olaf Ostrovsky, our lone giant for this match. We need Olaf to win if I want to get my financial bonus. Um, we need him to lose if I want to maintain good integrity of the show. So without further ado, <laughs> Meat Mountain kicked off. Let's see who wins. Oh, the Miz. The Miz. The Miz. The Miz. So the title changed hands. The Miz wanted a shot. He got it, and he did not fail to deliver Cody Rhodes little popularity on his promo and now the first of two big Ooh. beefy matches we will get started in the steel cage 
That's Ego. right. Hey. One of these giants has to climb out of the ring. We were making him work for it. So without further ado, let's do it. I'm so excited. Man. It's gonna be wild. Who you guys got? Oh God. Who don't I got? I'll tell you the real winner of this match is the fans. Yo, oh, 100%. And us. For me, I'm going Kane. I'm going Kane. I love Kane. I'm going Kane. I'm going Kane. I'm going Kane. Andre the Giant. Has Andre the Giant ever been in a steel cage match? Does he even know what a steel cage match is? He's about to be as tall as the cage. That might be an advantage. Pepperoni'd out crazy right there. No kidding. <laughs> Look at the first dad ass. Yeah, the first dad ass. The beef. The weight limit. The rings have been reinforced to, be. to handle the amount of girth that is going to be seen this evening. Vibranium re reinforcing this ring here. Oh my goodness. I mean, look, this is, the, oh, look at that dumpy. Yeah, I mean, this is... Normally, I would be like, oh my god, you have to be so intimidated to step in the ring with Andre. And then you remember the other three people step in the ring with Andre are also huge. Andre might be the one intimidated. And they gotta climb. They got like, shit, we gotta actually work. This is great. And everyone's eating Strowman. Ironically, everyone is eating Slim Jims in the crowd. But this is. Bronze had, Bronze had some good luck in these matches. He's won a couple of these. But can he win when eyes are on the match? He's only won when eyes are off the match. Can he pull out a victory with an eye on? A lot of people watching this. Well, it's probably the least caked in my opinion, but definitely yeah, a giant. Which is, no doubt. I mean, how many times has Braun Strowman in a room, walked in a room and had the least cake? I mean, that's got to. Yeah, I think maybe that's a frustration for him that causes yeah. him to compete it at an even bigger level. Because yeah. I'll show you some cake. And you know you're a giant when you step over the top rope. That's what makes a giant. If you, if you go on, if any of these giants go underneath the rope, they're not really a giant. Yeah. At that point, I remove. I'm a little worried for Rikishi. I'm a little worried for Rikishi here. I don't know if Rikishi goes over the top. Speaking of big, he's big. Find out. He's big, but he's not tall. You know what I mean? But he is wide. He is wide. Oh, raise that roof! Hell yeah! He's wide as he is tall. Arguably the sweetest cheeks in the game. Oh, easy. Sweet cheeks, Keish, coming down. Cheeks so sweet, it makes it his finisher. When I was a kid, I thought he was always like rubbing his ass and sniffing his finger. And then I learned like a year ago that every time he like touches his nose like that, it was like him acknowledging his kids. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's actually really kind and sweet. Cause he'd like smack his ass. And then I thought he was sniffing his finger. Like, oh, what's going on back there? Deceptively agile. Oh, moment of truth. And no one has more Let's fun see. Oh! What about me? Saxon, get wow. off the desk. This is not permission for you to talk. Oh, raise the This is great. Girthy Goliaths. Uh huh. Meat Mountain will Look be Look at the raft trying to blend in. Quite literally. And here comes Kane. Kane. So, Kane and Rikishi, in case you didn't see it in the previous video. Our the newcomers to WCW, a couple of giants, late editions. Oh. They said, hey, you need some beef, we got some beef. So they came over. And now and Kane joins. Ooh, from the pits of hell. Pits of hell. Which of these the wrestlers Kane most likely to suffer a heart attack? Eye. Andre. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> no hesitation. No hezzy. Next question. <laughs> where where do you guys stand on uh, Slim Jims? Uh, they're all right. Um, if given to me, I will eat one. I will not go out buy one. If I have to be honest, I don't think I've ever had one. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know if that was just an American. I don't think they're available in Canada. Yeah, I don't think they're available in Canada. It's just like a, a canned uh, aerosol cheese. We don't have canned aerosol cheese. Wow. Oh. I, uh, I, I occasionally will get one of those like big monster Tabasco ones. Like if I'm mm. if I'm about to go for a long drive and I pop into a gas station, nice little nice little car snack. But 
not something I'd keep in the home. The amount of beef I want to eat right here is in the ring. Mm. Oh, oh Brock goes for a choke oh, slam off the back. Okay. So this is the culmination of Meat Mountain. The beef belts. If you like our thumbnail for this video, this is the beef belt. It is the beef belt. Sponsored by Arby's. We have the beef. This is beef. where the big boys beef. play, though. It is. Don't forget it. God, this is not... <laughs> There's a lot of energy at the start of this match. Nobody's staying down. Everybody's popping right back up. They know what's on the line, I think. Did I, forget, did I forget? Who do you guys got winning this? I got Kane. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Keish gets it done. If Keish gets it done, proves that you can go through the middle rope and still get the win. I'm going, I'm going Braun. I think he's done well in the four ways. Kishi's too wide. Andre's just too damn big to climb. Nobody comes into a match. And plus, oh, Braun has the motivation. Slam? Braun has the least amount of cake in the ring, and that's motivation enough. King gonna try to get the pin. Oh, Kishi runs and breaks it off. King was just rubbing his tum tum. Not the position you want to be in. Nice thing with those cages. I mean, pitfall submission is in play, but obviously. Hard to get the separation compared to a normal multi-man because they're all contained in the ring. You gotta hope a long finisher happens or something. You get a pinfall during a. You can yeah. see the, the ring is bowing. It's literally just a big. Oh dip. God, oh, Andre, oh, careful. Okay, Andre. Okay. So that is what the AI does a lot when they climb. They start to climb and they get scared. How do you blame them? That's fair. The whole thing starts shaking with everybody in there. Look at, that. Look at that dumpy view. Dump Smart of the dumpy. referee to stay on the outside, though. Rikishi double cheeked up for this event. Uh oh. Oh! Kang! Oh. Oh. Ain't out of here. No! No, he's not. He got scared. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I think Rikishi's back just gave out a little bit. Oh. Which is fair with all this beef. Oh, we have blood. I'll be extremely think... disheartened if this match ends in a pen. I don't think it can. It's going to be a tough one. One of these dudes has to go over. <laughs> a lot of beef. And we've beef. had some good cage matches in our history, though, going back to 2K23. Oh, yeah. Who this can is... forget the May Young cage match and the great oh. review? That was the uh, Survivor Series. Yeah, our, uh, our bragging rights special, too. The ladies were in a, oh, what the hell? In a triple threat cage match, our women's champions. So, you know, if you're like, oh, this bragging rights special, I'm like, oh, Kane busted open as well. If you're excited about the bragging rights special, it's gonna be the next video after this one where all our champions are gonna compete. We're gonna be hand selecting some superstars to compete as well. You can get a preview of what that's like in the 2K23 Ruthless Aggression playlist. And viewing more matches. If you like us uh, viewing matches. Yeah, the, yeah, the bragging rights special, it is, I mean, potentially if there's tiebreakers needed, you might get six, seven matches all in one video. You might get five, but you're going to get a lot of chaos, I promise you, if it's anything like last year. No. Oh. Braun tried to steal it. One. No. Oh. Andre was ready. Oh, oh God. my God. Imagine being between those thighs. <laughs> I wish. I need my inhaler for that. Mm-hmm. Kane's whipping him right against the cage. I guess he can't throw a guy out of the ring here. This would be a scenario, though, where if a cage was going to give way, this would be the night. Right. Now, would you oh. win the match if that happened? If somebody whipped you against the, the cage and it broke, would you technically escape? Uh, yeah, I think if, yeah, if your feet touch the floor first, I think you get the win. Oh! Oh. Power slam for Braun. That's his finish. He might go for the pin. Oh my God. Well, no, Andre now. goes for a pin instead. <laughs> Braun broke it up quickly. right away. What if they all four start climbing the same reversed. side and it just Ooh. gives away? <laughs> and then a draw. Whoever's, you got to get, yeah. it's like, it's like the opposite of the Royal Rumble. Yeah. You want both yeah. of your delicious feet to touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jane says no to that. All, all of these men are trying to pin because none of them want to climb. Right. Oh. Can't blame them. That'll be tough. Oh, Rikishi firing up. That was Kane. Kane's punishing Strowman in the corner here. And Andre with the Bulldog. Oh, Kane right up, though. Popped up. Didn't even hurt him. He's bleeding. It wouldn't even shock me if all four of these men oh. are bloodied by the end of it. Uh oh. Okay, he's actually climbing. Rikishi, involved. This is the first time all year I've actually seen the AI climb a cage. Oh god. Oh. That well, might have knocked him out. Might have knocked him One. out. One. Two. Oh, oh only a one count. Rikishi in shock. Oh my god. <laughs> now he's just shocked from the concussion. <laughs> I think Cade was gonna try to goozle for the choke slam and Strowman just grab it. You don't know where to go though. <laughs> no idea. Strowman's fired up. So much Ooh. power in the ring. I know. Too much beef. Uh oh. Strowman DDT to Andre. Gonna try to pin. Kane says no. Oh my god. A lot of big boots. Cheek might have four injuries by oh. the end of this match. Uh-oh. Goozled. The no. Oh, they countered it. Good counter by Strowman. And now Strowman going to turn it into the power slam, I think. Andre's busted Andre's open Andre's now. Busted. Oh, Keish going for the belly to belly. Oh! Right now is a good chance to pin or climb, but Keish going to just step over, over everyone. everyone. <laughs> he had to get to Kane somehow. One. one. Oh. Dude, no, Andre breaks that one up. I think Kane would have kicked out. These men are gassed. Finally getting gassed. I feel like Strowman if it ends by pinfall, there. the person running in to break it up is just going to run out of energy and not make it. He's going to miss. God, Andre's busted open bad. Yeah, he is. These guys are risking oh, all for the beef. Uh oh Rikishi driver! Bang! Oh. Can't pin him. Oh, oh my God. Andre could Andre now though. No, Andre's oh, gonna Andre's climb fun. maybe. Andre says I'm outie. Does he? No, he oh, doesn't oh, have the courage. No. Oh, Kane. Maybe Kane got Kane the Kane courage by being in the Kane corner. Yeah. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. No no no. Oh, oh. God. Oh, this Look might be over. Smile on his face. This might be over. One. One. Two. Three. That might be it. Oh, oh Andre. Kicked <laughs> Andre kicked kick. him in his ass. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Oh, and now oh, we're Rikishi busted open. Oh my god. That's almost everyone. That's almost every I think it is everyone. Strowman's busted. Strowman's the only one I'm not sure. He might have got busted open earlier. Oh, I know what that means. What the uh -oh. hell is Andre doing? He's actually just on acid and you see spiders everywhere. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, that elbow drop is doing? deadly. Hey, yeah, well, Braun's busted buddy. open now. <laughs> there it is. Everyone. Everyone busted. Wow. Except for the ref. <laughs> oh my god. Is oh, is Kane getting out? Come on, Kane. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, why is he doing Italian? Hey, yeah. Probably boo, buddy. That must, so I wonder if it's if the AI climbs the corner they try, but if they climb the sides they don't. Because oh double team. Because Kane doing the corner is the first time I've seen AI actually try to leave. Oh another Rikishi driver. Uh oh. Oh God, how is Braun just casually getting up from that? Oh, it's not his oh ass. no. Oh no. Andre, what are you doing? Andre. Oh no no no. Batsai! Oh, oh my, my god. god, that's Rikishi a big ass. Gets over there and kicks his knee slightly, saving the match. <laughs> that hurts enough. You ever had your knee kicked like that? Oh! Uh oh. oh. He's got scared. It happens. I get scared too. We all get scared. I'm just scared someone's gonna bust open the referee now. I hope so. I think we've, just, I think we've earned that. I hope so. I think we've earned that. We've definitely earned that. These guys have earned that. They've earned the right 
to just four on one well, team up on that ref. Can get oh. it back. STO from Andre. Chance go for pin, big splash! Everybody's down! One, two, Brock's get up, down in time! Oh my god! The only guy we didn't pick! Yeah. That was Chat. Chat had Andre, they win. Look at that. Congrats to all the subscribers, you just won that match. Holy actually That's actually Arby sauce on his face. From the meat mountain. Me Mountain has been climbed. The beef belt belongs to Andre the Giant in the rivalry with Rikishi. Great man. Next time you guys go to Arby's, let them know that Cody vs. Wrestling sent you. And then make sure all the workers subscribe to the channel. All right. And to break up the beef belt matches, Ray Ripley, a little popularity increase. And now, in case you haven't had your meat sweats oh, going God. we have the main course the finale tonight in a tables match red flame john the fish herman triton who's being a little baby and red monsoon i do hope oh. to put someone to a table cody do you have the meat sweats right now yeah Ooh. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people are going to have to pause the video, like step outside for a second, cool off, come back in and continue. I like, I don't. That was a lot. This is it's just so much beef. Everyone got bloodied. Technically, Meat Mountain didn't get climbed because no one climbed out of the ring. So we'll see what we'll see what happens here at the tables, though. There's going to be yeah. a big splinter in someone's ass. They all just and start we're climbing we're... the tables instead of putting people through them. <laughs> And while we're loading up this match, want to shout out Shano BR for that uh, get, calling yeah, out the Kane Andre Kishi Strowman place. matchup. Mm. Also, is the person who went back and looked at Nikita Lyons' uh, record against uh, Azuka. So that was uh, quite cool to see. So yeah, I'm gonna be yeah huge thank yous for that too. The fact so Oscar's five and one officially against Nikita Lyons. And we, oh, I hope it's on the card. I, I know. I'm, I'm like, I hope Teddy Long puts it on the card again. He has to. He has to. And Nikita Lyons has to lose. Good God, Red Flame. <laughs> that is some diggly beef. Oh, boy. Can I get the number three with a shake, please? Oh, man. I mean, hard pressed to not have him be my pick. We'll see what happens here, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's so stupid. Look at him. Look at that body oh, shape. And this gig doesn't get a win in any oh, he's dancing. Look at him. Oh, that is a lot of girls. Right, let's see what we got next. He might be wider than Keish. Oh, John fish. the Fish Herman. Now, now listen, I have some beef with Fish Herman being a giant. Does this guy look that giant to you? He's Maybe the we'll... Braun Strowman of the match. <laughs> That's fair. He's the jobber Strowman. Hey, don't worry. By the end of this, you'll be hooked. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. Look at him. I'm already hooked. Look at that facial hair. <laughs> He's got a different kind of cake, though. That's all muscle. Yeah. This oh, man. yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it is. <laughs> Look at those chops. And yeah, I think the gloves give him extra grip to be able to pick somebody up and put him to a table. Oh, he's grippy. Oh, he's grippy. Oh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, he's squatting. Oh, he's a person with a lot of spirit? Who's oh, boy. It's Triton. <laughs> Gut kicking out from his underbelly. I went to college with, like, five guys that looked just like this. <laughs> Did they wear the crown too? Not during class, but walking to it. Beast. Look at Triton. Everyone booing him because he was complaining to me. Complaining about losing. Triton! Triton wants to win a match, but he can't because he's dog do. He's quite rubbish. And he's going to complain when he loses. I like he just grabbed like a fucking. Curtain and tied it around his waist, stole his pants up. He's a poor man's William Regal. See, a to victory. Oh, and Red boy. Monsoon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ukraine. Ukraine? He looks like Red Iron Sheik's cousin. He does. <laughs> oh man, it's Except without the iron. It looks, it looks like, it looks like this guy just 
devoured Iron Sheik. Yeah. Look at those Iron Cheeks, though. Oh, yeah. He's even oh. got the boots that he had, those little pointed boots. I'm pretty sure they come out when he gets in the ring. Fish Sherman had the exact same entrance. Yeah, three of them oh, did the man. same entrance. They also, like, it, it's it's nitpicky. I They don't give them super unique movesets. Like, almost all the jobbers, their finisher is some version of a power bomb. Oh, we're going to see power bombs then. So we're going to see a lot of people. Who do you guys got? Bomb powerly. I, I hope Triton wins. I'm a big wow. Triton. I think it's going to be. I, I, I got to go Red Flame here. Red Flame. Flame. I got to go my boy, John the Fish Herman. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, look at the Triton. Look at oh, my God. Wait, there's a table out there. Oh, oh my God. What the God. fuck? No. <laughs> no. There's no way. No. No way! <laughs> what? I do declare! <laughs> what no. the fuck? Oh my god! No. I'm <laughs> what? And he got injured! <laughs> oh my god. I'm crying. I'm crying. What? Wow. Holy shit. Oh my <laughs> That match Holy was shit. like five seconds. <laughs> Wow, oh that god. match lasted oh. longer than most of us. Oh my, oh god. my god. That is the quickest match we've spectated <laughs> in Cody vs. History. And and the Kevin Owens ones was pretty quick too. That, uh, that covered oh. my ass. Unreal. Okay. Oh, that was so Shit. funny. <laughs> wow. Triton. That's incredible. We used the card to bring him off injury. He immediately goes back on oh. injury. Yeah. All the while being a little biatch. He's gonna be happy he won though. Great. Yeah. Don't care. He might be cut. Oh. He might go to uh, SmackDown. He might. I have to. Wow. So Gunther McGurder says, "Man, that was a lot of beef, oh, huh?" Yeah, that's um, funny as hell. Got us some. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. Can we? All right. And if that beef wasn't enough, we got some women's beef for you. Mom, now no. this one is another special as there's only two giants, so. The first match, I had Olaf, the only giant in there. It didn't work out. This match, I got a 50-50 chance. So let's see if we can get a giant. No! Oh. Dang it. My plan backfired, but the rivalry is complete. Okay. With and Blair a new rivalry. And, and I got a new rivalry. So there's okay. that. But those ladies are only signed for a week. So yabba dabba do. Oh, hey, bye, ladies. Zoe Stark says, hey, how about that beef, huh? And then the main event. Unfortunately, we're all out of large, beefy men. So the tag team match, Uncle Rico makes their return, trying to get their belts back against Scripps and Akira. Does that become a reality? Yes. Wow. Wow. And the rivalry is champs. Nice. Rivalry is complete. Uncle Rico, next pay per view, might have a new tag rivalry. Find out who it is. That is. Meat Mountain, folks. The beef belts are officially crowned. That and that also cool. means that we get to see Uncle Rico compete Wait. at bragging rights. That oh is my. true. So that's big, too. Not as big as that fourth match on this card, though. Canada saw it right away. Mm. Can Asuka keep it going? But first, WCW opens up. Excuse me. Raw opens up. I just love that WCW pay-per-view so much. I can't move on. <laughs> Raw opens up with Finn Balor and Julius Creed for the world title. I believe this is the end of their feud, and Julius Creed will get the title back in a four-and-a-half-star match. Becky Lynch still yet to have a match since getting traded to Raw, but she has a nice self-promo plus five pop. Austin Theory, Paragon, Jay Pierce. I forget if they're level three or two, but Austin Theory gets the win. Their rivalry ends in a three-star match. Otis calls out LA Knight and he says, Oh, T, S, yeah. And their rivalry goes up to level two. United States champion Josh Briggs. He, he, he's been wondering where his partner, our truth is. Nobody knows where Jimmy Uso is right now. So Briggs taking on Angel Garza for the U.S. title. And Angel Garza gets the win in a three and a half star match. Now Briggs is gone for five weeks. So one half the yeah, tag champs is going to skedaddle. The other half of the tag champs are truth comes out to the ring and he calls out Damon Uso. And he says, where's your brother, Jimmy? 
and Damon Uso just kind of shrugs his shoulders, and their rivalry begins. Uso. But now, oh man, come on, Asuka, Nikita Lions. Nikita Lions has won one time, which is one more than I thought. But Asuka, a come five on. and one record against Nikita. What happens at SummerSlam? Asuka oh my God. Oh my gets it done again. Yeah. And the rivalry is only to level three, so that will oh continue. <laughs> <laughs> Can Nikita Insane. Lions conquer her greatest foe? Then Damon Uso comes out <laughs> and says, Can everybody stop asking me where Jimmy <laughs> is? And everyone just boos the hell out of me, gets no new fans. They just want to see Damon Uso and Jimmy Uso team up once again. And then the main event, Charlotte Flair and Natalya defending their women's tag team championships against Tiffany Stratton and EO Sky. And we got new women's tag oh. chips. EO Sky, Tiffany Stratton, four and a half stars oh, completing gee. their tag rivalry. <clears throat> then we head to ECW. And we are going to spectate the opening match Ooh. here. Ooh. We saw Logan Paul and Big E last month. We have not seen Sami Zayn yet and Dijak. And there's a lot on the line here, folks, because Dijak does not have a contract. After tonight, oh yeah, he's not contracted. So we've stated if he wins, he will be my representative for the world title triple threat at bragging rights. However, the title gets vacated. So, I mean, I'll come out right away and say it. I'm, I'm rooting for Sami Zayn on that alone. You guys, are you guys pulling for Dijak to cause a little chaos, or are you supporting Sami? I'm going Dijak. Dijak. I need the chaos in my life. It's that Triton, <laughs> that Triton yeah, over the top rope wasn't hard. enough to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair to want more. Cheek, where are you at? Uh, I'm going to roll Sami. I think okay. I think Zayn's got this one. I don't, Dijak, more like Dijak. Mm. Mm. Got him. And Die Jack, as a reminder here, folks, was signed to get a feud started with Sami Zayn. <coughs> we wanted to get to level four, but the first week we did the promos, Sami Zayn got a level on the rivalry, but Die Jack didn't. The word was out that Die Jack couldn't generate hatred, couldn't make himself disliked enough for people to care about his pursuit of Sami Zayn. But then the following week, he came out, he grabbed a trash can full of trash, and he dumped it on an old lady in the front row. We had no idea what he was doing, and all of a sudden, Sami Zayn ran out. It was his great Aunt Martha. Dijak just disrespecting great Aunt Martha. Last week, Gunther faced Sami Zayn, non-title match, and Sami Zayn got distracted by Dijak. Hold on. Had to let the crowd say, let's go. Dijak came out to the ring holding a picture of Sami's great aunt Martha and he ripped it in half and a frustrated Sami Zayn was pinned by Gunther due to that distraction. So the, the interesting thing here, this is extreme rules. Pitfall submission has to be in the ring, but everything's legal. Can Sami Zayn keep enough focus or does, has Dijak distracted him to the point that maybe he's too aggressive and it costs him everything? Mm. <coughs> Russian is up there. Yeah, this is. I mean, I, I would, I would think Sammy recognizes the importance of that ECW title, the the knowledge that if Dijak wins, he's walking out of this arena without a contract, carrying our belt. But still, uh, still representing ECW if he does. Which also scares me because then I'm like, are you gonna throw at bragging rights? Yeah. You don't care. Know? Why would he? Do that? I don't have a contract. Why do we? Right. Do yeah. Do? Like that could absolutely cost me here. So I, I try to be impartial here, but I mean, I can't lie as the man that runs ECW, I, I have to root. Sami Zayn has to win this match. For his great aunt Martha. Literally. For Gam Game. <laughs> and that's how much Canada wants chaos. He's rooting against the Canadian this time. I uh, know we have to, we have to. Has to be done. Oh, come on, I like Sammy. Chaos. All right, over or under, does this match last longer than the Triton match? Uh, I'm going to say over. Mm. 
ECW. The match would end though. before I could say under, so I think it's going <laughs> to be the over. That was insane. <laughs> he picked him up, and I was like, oh, he's going to like drop him like a press slam. And then I realized he was like moving towards the ropes. I'm like, wait, there's a table out there. That match was so short, it could have been... Uh... It could have been on Vine. It was less than six. Seconds. I mean, I might have to just upload it to TikTok. It's gonna make a good. It's gonna make a nice, good YouTube short for me at some point. Are you sure you're gonna be all right for this one, Saxton? Oh! For now, all of our lives, things get ugly. Sami Zayn only apparently 212 pounds too. That's. Oh! Sammy's doing what we need right now. He's representing the brand. Oh! Jesus. Jeff Hardy. Might not be the over by much. Oh, okay. Oh. Jeez. Sammy Zayn wants to uh, represent ECW at bragging rights. Well, this is, I think, too, that some of that anger. I mean, you don't just you don't just dump trash on somebody's great aunt really with, without you know getting punished for it. And Sammy, right now. This is what I expect out of Sammy in this situation. This is personal to him. Dijak poked the bear maybe a little too much. He poked me in the eye. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, and he just threw it at him. Threw it on him. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Dijak's got to find a way to... There, yeah, that'll get you some momentum back. Oh, Sammy's right up. This is Dijak right now. He's walking around, probably trying to find Martha in the crowd. She is here tonight, but we don't want to reveal her exact oh. location for her own safety. <laughs> One. No. Oh. oh my God! Just busted him over with that kick. He avoids the damage. Nasty oh. knee. Dijak trying to fire himself up here. Big clothesline. Dijak busted open. Oh no! Feast your eyes. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! He hasn't hit a lot, but can Sammy kick out still? Two! Oh my god! Oh, my god. Okay. Oh. oh god, Sammy, get out of the ring! Get out of the ring! Get back in the ring! <laughs> that was sudden, right? And now Dijak getting that momentum back. Oh! Oh no! Oh! That hurts! God! Oh. Sammy still popping up. Dijak, oh no, there's a ladder oh, right now. Going for the ladder. The ladder. Oh, and he's setting it up for a spot. Oh god, what's Sammy got? Sammy's got a chair. Impromptu TLC match here at SummerSlam. He's running around. Is he oh! Oh my god! <laughs> he's trying to kill him. Oh! <laughs> Stretching out the knee. This is a bad idea by Sammy. Try to oh, die jack okay. another guy classified as a giant. That's true. And that's one way to chop him oh. down a little bit. Get those legs. Oh. He's oh. burying elbows in the midsection. Took too long there. I think Sammy was trying to figure out what what he wanted to destroy him with next. And I agree with Kanda. Just took too long. Gave Dijak a chance, but Sammy's staying on it here. Cheek, have you ever been as mad at somebody as Sami Zayn is at Dijak right now? Yeah, I'm pretty mad at Triton right now. <laughs> this is what Cheek wants to do to Triton. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he's out another month. I might have to release him into the wild. Maybe he comes on and wrestles for uh, ECW. I'm just waiting for you to your next shakeup card to be Fatal Four Ways, but with like cruiserweights, and you just go the complete opposite way next month. Ooh, I want. <laughs> I don't even care. know what we would name that. If I have a diamond shakeup card and the other one's silver, oh, oh God. I'm picking the silver one. We had to move yeah. the camera a little bit. Don't want you guys seeing where Sammy was hitting Dijak with that sledgehammer. That'd be yeah. wild if one of you guys got that same card I just got. <laughs> That's yeah, more, me and more Canada more got the same one. Well, we picked the same one last month, so they can definitely repeat. <laughs> oh, just punishing. Oh, good lord. Oh. 
That ladder still set up. Yeah, I, I'm getting. They're getting closer to it. I'm get, Oh boy, they oh, heard you. Oh, just kidding. Sammy so maybe feeling like he'd have to hurt himself to hurt Dijak that way. That's true. Oh, big oh kick God. there. Snaps him with the Huluva. Non-corner style. One, One two, two. Got it. Wow. Thank wow. God. Out the victory. Sammy yeah. Zane. Not the result me and Cheek wanted. Does it for Great Aunt Martha. Does it for Extreme Championship Wrestling. Dijak might not even be able to have kids anymore. That was a big boot. Oh, oh I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Four and a half stars out of those guys. Good performance. Let's see what else ECW brings to the table here for the remainder of the show. All right, Gunther comes out to the ring, tries to sell some Slim Jims, and he sells $12,500 worth of Slim Jims, which Not is bad. quite a few at the expense of seven popularity. His popularity is pretty low. We're going to have to work him back up. I want him to be a fixture of the roster, uh, but we need that extra money right now. TLC, Nathan Frazier, and Ludwig Kaiser coming to the end of their feud here. I forget which one of these guys is the TLC specialist, but Nathan Frazier was today four and a half but they both get injured. So Ooh. I was hoping I had a pre-match physio for one of those guys um, just because they were both below 40. Uh, we'll have to kind of figure out what to do there, but they put it on the line for ECW. Another great match for us. Advertising from Chosen. We paid him 2,200. He got me 1,700. I'm down $500. We paid 3,200 in total. So, or no, we paid 3,800 in total so we're gonna need jackson smooth to get me 2100 to make that risk pay off and then extreme rules match these two teams have been going since day one i don't know what the future of the tag division is but i do know the duke hudson had to come to the ring without a headband because elton prince took it and he's got it wrapped around the tag title belt and duke hudson may never get his headband again <laughs> or Maybe that's what cost him. He got the headband back, but turned around, got dropped with a little bit of spilt milk, which I learned like a week ago is their tag team finisher. And I think that's a fun name. That is a fun name. Yeah. So Duke Hudson prioritized his own headband over the tag team titles in another four and a half star match. Chelsea Green cuts a self promo and says, yeah, sometimes people get released in order to get pay-per-view upgrades but not me i'm better than that and one person clapped quietly steel cage match back-to-back -back steel cage matches to end the show actually we've got dakota kai and bianca now for the bragging rights special obviously ecw does not have a women's championship so for me my women's representative is meant to be whoever the most popular is uh we accidentally stumbled into these two having the exact same popularity so the winner of this match will represent ECW for the women's triple threat match in the next video. Is it Dakota Kai or Bianca Belair? Bianca gets the win. Four stars completing their rivalry. I need $2,100 to make the risk worth it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. So we lose $1,100 trying to get uh, low-end people to cut me advertising promos. You hate to see it. And in the main event, Logan Paul defends the television championship against biggie can logan paul hang on to the title this will end their feud as well biggie your new television champion he's got a fancy new contract as well so we have four matches get four and a half stars one match get four very happy with how this show played out for ecw so we won't run through all mine again since we just did those but uh, as a reminder, that opening match that we did spectate, that was four and a half stars. And we lost money on advertising. Sort of. Let's run down the other shows. SmackDown kicked us off here today. Four and a half stars as the tag rivalry ends. Ivar and Veer Mahan take down Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Dexter Limas defeats Joe Coffey with the help of Xavier Woods. Three and a half stars completing their rivalry. Three, or excuse me, two and a half stars. Tyler Bate winning the triple threat match against Apollo Crews and Chad Gable. 
A new Intercontinental Champion was crowned as Omos gets it done for the Omos Sapiens in a four-star triple threat. And in the main event, Kevin Owens, what we thought was going to be the fastest match of the night, puts Damian Priest huh. through a table, closing their rivalry at four and a half stars. Liv Morgan, call out to Alexa Bliss, puts that rivalry at level three, come off pay-per-view. <clears throat> For WCW, where the big boys play, Summer Slam, which kicked off with The Miz becoming the new world champion, winning the four-way against Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Olaf Ostrowski in a three-star match. Three and a half for the Fatal 4-Way Steel Cage. Andre and Rikishi have their rivalry ended as Andre gets the win. Braun Strowman and Kane also in there. A lot of blood, a lot of passion. Where we didn't have a lot of blood, but maybe a tiny bit of passion. Triton wins the Fatal 4-Way Tables match against Red Flame, John the Fish Herman, and Red Monsoon. An absolute record time in a two-star affair. And then Indy Hartwell and Blair Davenport had their rivalry completed. Blair Davenport getting the win. Raquel Rodriguez, Sally Steamroller in there to try to get some extra money. Two stars to close that out. And then the main event. Tag rivalry since day one comes to an end here. As Uncle Rico finishes SummerSlam as your tag champions in a three and a half star affair. Then for Raw, it opened up four and a half stars for Julius Creed taking down Finn Balor, closing out their feud. Austin Theory, three stars over Paragon J. Pierce, ending the feud. Rivalry up to level two as Angel Garza defeats Josh Briggs in a three and a half star match. However, Briggs out five weeks. Also, Triton out for four on the WCW side. Robert up to level three as Asuka defeats Nikita Lions yet again, six and one record against her. And then four and a half for the tag rivalry ending uh, as Tiffany Stratton and Neo Sky take down Charlotte and Natalia. I'm going to pull these up just because I want to be able to go back. I did think I was like, oh, I might want to go back later because that show went really well. So I want to see how the stuff got the ratings it did, but we don't need to run through since we just did that one. So final reports here, SmackDown 133,000 fans. $76,000. Big show there for SmackDown. Director House said Owens versus Damian Priest ended with a bang. What a rivalry. Can't wait to see the aftermath. Over on WCW, 106,000 fans in $67,000. So interesting here. It looks like you didn't get the bonus for the pay per view. Damn which I guess is tribal knowledge for us, but it's been going into the other revenue bonus. And you obviously had two giants win there. So, yeah. yes. So it must be, uh, I mean, the thing said it was for five weeks. I'm not sure yes. why that doesn't count, but looks like a glitch by the game there, which is unfortunate. Oof. Over to raw 129,000 fans to raw $92,000. And then for ECW, we get 171,000 fans, $115,000. So really huge show for us. We got lucky. We had a situation where we had five level four feuds. So we were able to pay them all off. And Nikki Cross is sad to be leaving ECW. Not really sure what went wrong or why. It wasn't part of their plans. Nikki, I'm sorry. But we needed the boost. All right, scouted double the cost for SmackDown by completing the All About Me. So I assume that's self promo. Uh, even though, yeah, that doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, it's a tough draw on the, the rando card. So there are the standings with the big pay per view. I have jumped out in front of Raw. Um, but now I know that Target is rightfully squarely on my back. I'm up 11,000 on Teddy. Uh, Teddy has an advantage of about 70,000 on SmackDown. Then SmackDown about 48,000 ahead of WCW. So we'll send it to WCW emails. Oh, I always, oh I forgot about the trade. Boy. So WCW will kick off the <clears throat> trade session. Oh gosh. I don't know. Uh, let me look through your rosters real quick. I don't think I want anything from EC Dub. EC Dub. Is there anybody I want to pilfer from letdown? I don't think so. And with Raw. Hmm. Maybe like Shinsuke Nakamura for Becky Lynch. 
Easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I get the man who I was considering drafting? Yep. He really let him fall down to popularity. 45. Yeah, wow. See, that's what I mean. I got to save my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Offering Triton. He just won a big beefy match. He did win a big beefy match. Shot, it's not a bad idea, though. Like, you know that card's gone. Some of those giants that aren't going to be there long term. That's what I mean. I just... <clears throat> Got what, how do I... $18,000 of value on LA Knight. Morale looks normal, so I don't think you'll get a discount, but you might be able to get him pretty straightforward since his popularity is so low. Right. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Kane. It's about 50. Fair offer. If they Kane like only each, has, yeah. yeah, Kane only has two weeks remaining, so I'm probably not going to do much with him. If I can get a star, like no. LA Knight, get me a face. And it's a permanent deal, too, so you'd have him the rest True. of the year as well. Oh, oh, does he counter? No. Now, you get up to five offers, so you could try okay. to tweak and adjust. He did not do a counter. I mean, but he's not that pissed. Like, that meter didn't go up that much, so I don't think you're far away. Where's the meter? Oh, there it is. Right in the yeah, middle. that middle thing. Yeah. Uh, can I do red monsoon? Throw in a red monsoon to make... Oh, I think you hit... Oh, no. I, I did. Dang it. All right. So be it. Okay, so... Raw is... Uh, this is interesting. So, Raw is offering me... Becky Lynch for Ludwig Kaiser. And oh Kaiser's literally injured for three weeks. But Money. he also wants $123,000 in cash. Money. Oh, man. Do I have... Oh, what would Nathan yeah. Frazier be? I might do just, like, offer the two injured guys for Becky. Okay. Not bad. Oh wait, I always forget. You can't, you can't counter. You have to accept or decline. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, it's like I, instinctively in my head, I'm like, oh, let me get a counter based on what you're offering. Oh, this is tempting. Obviously, money's been historically, even last year, money's always my tricky situation here. So I'm giving up cash, but I also just had to release Nikki Cross. That's kind of my thinking here. Um, I lose four pop. But I know Becky cuts a good promo. I've watched her do it on, on uh, WCW and Raw. She's a specialist. She's level 15. I think I could, you know, change class if I needed to. I actually want to look at that. Uh, she can change between specialist and bruiser. She has a less chance of being injured. Casket match doesn't do much for me. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. Kaiser's out three weeks. His, his morale is going to drop. His popularity is going to drop. Then I can use the rehab card to get Nathan Frazier back. I do lose a tag team of him and Gunther, but we need a female, and that's a top-tier female to grab. So I'm going to take the hit financially, and I'm going to take that deal. Uh, great accepted. I, I guess now after the next pay-per-view, I'll have to trade Becky Lynch to SmackDown so she gets to be on every brand. That's true. It's only fair. Ooh, oh. just cash for quiche. Interesting. Cash for quiche. 33000 for my man quiche. <clears throat> Interesting. Teddy's out here dealing. Can't wow. Count. Yeah, you can't counter at all. Oh, he, like, he's got 300. He's just got 127. Yeah, I'm going to decline that. 33000 ain't enough. Sorry, bud. So this screw you, play Let him. <laughs> Let him Maybe know. Offer, try to lowball me. Get out of here. All right, so I got to plug my controller in for this part. There we go. So I'm going to look at Teddy, see if I want to throw in our bone. Also, I got to know, is Jimmy Uso? Oh, Jimmy Uso has gone. They, they just got rid of him. 
So Damon, who's, he has 100 popularity. Holy shit. What but he doesn't have his brother. Well, he's just been cutting promos, I guess. Yeah. 100 popularity. Jeez. What the hell? All right. So I'm looking to see. I guess I should check my side if there's someone I want to give up. The trades. This is a really cool new feature of 24. I love, I love it. I yeah. love it so much. It just adds, it adds a layer. Like I like that the, I mean the AI can be tough to negotiate with a little bit, but it's not as awful as I thought it'd be. Like it's pretty much just like, hey, can you match this value that I want? Yeah. Um. Honestly, it's crazy to say because I love him, but he's so happy. I think giving up Gunther want to make sense. Um, morale. Everyone's looking pretty good. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold. Hold the line. Damon Uso at a hundred pop is crazy though. I know. That's wild. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold the line. I know I was also interested in Chad Gable, but I just don't know. Like, I don't really want to break up either of these set tag teams. I don't want to get rid of Chelsea Green. Gunther, if Gunther's morale wasn't as good as it is, I would probably look to trade him this month since I lost Kaiser, try to see what I can scrounge up for value. But I think I'm going to hold. Hold the line. Ooh. Over on SmackDown. See what you got, even though we just kind of did. I got an idea for you later for WCW. I think there's some interesting things on WCW, but let it walk and over on raw i'm gonna see if he'll give up damon at all let's Ooh. see if uh that's a thing like you might be able to do like i mean i know they're champs but just as an example like veer ivar in terms of the value it's pretty much he's up there and they would there. release the tag titles from those monsters like that's what's interesting him. i guess maybe because his xp levels only level seven Maybe that's part of why, like, he doesn't have as high a value, I would guess. Yeah. Watch this. He's going to take this, too. Oh, he's definitely accepting that. You could probably get well, something else, too. Uh, coffee. Coffee's too much. Let's see if he'll take a... Because you're giving him... Tamina or Valhalla. Valhalla's been working, though. She kind of deserves it, but Tamina's got that Piper feud going. Let's see if he'll take it. I think 100... I will say you might be able to get some cash back too, honestly, or another like low end person because you're given, yeah, you're given two hundred and thirty two thousand for one fifty four. Let's see if he'll give me fifty k to go along with that. He's got the money to do so. Maybe even seventy five. He's got the money to do says. so and send off Damon Uso. Hmm. And the Valhalla, Chad Gable, for Damon Uso and seventy five k. He does not accept. Ooh, okay. We'll see where the meter is at. Okay, okay, he's not that upset not with it. High. Let's drop this down to 50. Does he take it? He wow. takes it! Great accepted. Wow. We got 100 popularity, Damon Uso, and 50k in the bank. Wow. Oh, wow. Add Gable. Steal. Like, this makes sense for both of us. Teddy Long agrees. And the AI, he knows. He knows. And I, I had an idea but I think I'm going to hold off on uh, to it for next trade. I'm not even going to give a hint of what it is. Um, do I have anybody else that isn't even on a... Let's, I'm going to see if he'll give me... I'm going to see if he can give me 120 for Tyler Bray. I want money. Oh, I didn't even think about trying something like that. He oh, did it. shit. He oh. did it. Okay, we got rid of Tyler Bray. We got 120... Because yeah. Tyler Brate has not really been a fixture on this brand. We have $322,000, and we're ending the trade right there. And as we AI end Raw. that trading, go into the emails. So if you're wondering, when we talk about the bragging rights special, how it'll work with stealing a superstar, uh, whoever finishes first can steal from whoever finishes last in that bragging rights special. And essentially what it'll be is for the next month, you don't know who they're going to take after pay-per-view three we will do a trade where someone gives up like five dollars to get the superstar they're stealing so that is how we will be incorporating that in the coming episodes all right and to wrap up 
the emails real quick. Triple H talking about our email scheme that we have going on. So the fans' feedback is that Uncle Howdy and Roman Reigns might be worth considering seeing some matches together. Um, it's a bit of an odd couple, but okay. So for the, until the next pay-per-view, any solo contest or triple or threat or fader four ways, these matches get a popularity boost. So could see a lot of uh, Roman Reigns and Uncle Howdy. And then Kombucha, what's up? It's so good to finally talk to you. I got your number oh. from your assistant. Hope you don't mind. I'm Kombucha. Have you heard of me? No. I'm a pretty big deal on the internet, looking to get my foot in the door. Would you have any room on your roster? You can hire me for free. I'm sure my followers would quickly become your fans. Extra fans for free? Sure. Oh, Welcome. Shit. 31 pops not bad for a jobber either. And he's level 5, so he has a match specialty. Hooray. And then the Miz said, thanks for the shot, boss. Oh, geez, oh my first. goodness. Sadly, I don't have any cool shakeups this time. So we have cardio <laughs> training, which is all superstars lose much less stamina for matches, which I like that. Center of attention, which is superstars in the main event. Gain three additional ring XP. And classic booking, which is fan favorites gain morale. And rule breakers gain five popularity. Okay. I, that's instant. I'm yeah, gonna... So... And is that something that's just for this show or yeah so that you... all that will do is i don't know how much morale you're gonna get but all your faces are gonna be happier all your heels are gonna get five popularity it'll happen right after you do the card it'll probably like pop up and show it um and then that yeah. would be the effect uh the others you have for the next month um you can save right. some stamina or load your main event with people to get them additional yeah XP to i'm gonna out. i'm just gonna save stamina i feel like that's good for any time for me so there we go Bam. There we all go. right so that's i'll back it. us out to the standings here as we wrap up this episode cheek i'll kick it off with you since since you just grabbed your power card obviously a new era of wcw is about to be on the way not that the giants won't get respect on your show uh, but obviously, the, the shake-up card was a big reason why. How do you feel getting ready for, not? I guess, not only the next one, the booking, but the bragging rights special as well? Yeah, I definitely have to. I got to reconsider my strategy and get back to actually booking some shows strategically. I can't. It's going to be different that I can't just throw a bunch of beef in the ring. Um, it was fun while it lasted. We had a good time. But it's time to move on, so I got to cook up something different, so... Um, after bragging rights, we'll uh, we'll get to work. In Canada, for you, couple couple big trades there, and a pretty big head move with the. I never thought about just like you're like, yeah, I'm not using this guy. Uh, is Ted, is Teddy Long willing to just give me cash? And he was. So uh, a couple big moves. You get Damon Uso in there at 100 popularity. You get extra cash to spend coming out with pay per view. You're in a pretty good spot. How are you feeling? Bragging wow. rights and the fallout of SummerSlam. I'm feeling amazing about SummerSlam. The fallout was great. We made. I did not expect to make those trades. I didn't even remember you can make. We were going to make trades after pay per views. <laughs> sure. That totally slipped my mind until I saw it and then said, "Hey, you know what? Guys like Chad Gable, guys like Tyler Bray, they weren't doing much on our roster. They were just kind of collecting dust. So why not get something for them? We got a hundred popularity, Damon Uso and Kevin Owens. Well, he just beat Damian Priest. Why not move on to another Damon? If you know what I mean." Ooh. With 100 popularity, he's going to be kind of a fixture rate right in the main event scene uh, easily. So I'm excited. I'm excited for bragging rights uh, with uh, hopefully either win or kind of slide in the middle there and not get somebody stolen from me and look forward to it because it's going to be the next video dropped. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm i super excited for the bragging rights special. The pay-per-view side of things, SummerSlam was huge for me. Um, just kind of the way stuff fell. Um somewhat intentional but somewhat accidental we just were in a spot where certain a couple rivalries i was gonna end at the first pay-per-view got stopped because uh teddy long's card kind of threw me off so i just kind of down booked that first pay-per-view uh but it set me up to have five feuds blow off at SummerSlam, which really helped the match ratings we've thrown ourselves into the first which is awesome but obviously i understand the downside of that is i'm gonna you know i'm gonna see power cards used against me i've got to be prepared to be creative uh we also did trade away ludwig kaiser which uh you know i thought 
him and Gunther uh, would be good guys to have potentially go for the tag belts. I did break up that tag team, but um, the opportunity to get Becky Lynch in there, have that fourth female superstar that's a top tier talent in the ring as well as cutting good promos to help out the division as a whole uh, despite not having a women's championship i think that's going to be crucial so excited to have her on board and again the bragging rights special will be our next video we talked about it a couple times in this video the intro to this video is me explaining it uh but what will happen here is our champions will face so world champions face women's champions face the the men's titles for like the mid card belts they'll face tag champs face uh, we'll be hand selecting two members per brand to represent us in an elimination chamber match. And the winner of that chamber match gets a world title match at some point as well. So a lot is going to happen. A lot's going to be at stake. We'll be getting points based on the results of those matches. Whoever gets the most points will be able to steal a superstar from whoever gets the least amount of points. Uh, a little different than last year. Last year, the rewards and punishment were different, but... Uh, with this amazing new trading in here, uh, we basically get to give somebody a, an Xavier Woods card for free. Uh, we will also be offering for whoever gets last place. Every match they win during bragging rights will be one superstar they can protect. So, you know, obviously the person that finishes in last probably isn't going to win four matches. But then being able to steal one or two wins throughout the night, if, if they're not going to win the whole thing, could be the difference of who they save for their roster and how they pursue the last couple months or the last couple i say months because in my head a pay-per-view is once a month but the last 10 weeks of season one and this bragging rights special is going to happen every season so thank you guys again for 800 subs as we recorded today 805 as 805 we grab boom we grabbed five we grabbed well we were at 799 when we hit records so we grabbed six subs in the hour and a half we've been recording uh, that's super cool. We, we've really enjoyed seeing all the comments, the interactions. We were fired up to see you know, so many of you guys sending in your suggestions for Cheek. We, you know, we get a comment about how often Asuka has whooped Nikita Lyon's ass. Uh, the interaction is super great. We really appreciate it. And we're going to keep producing this top tier content. So if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Up next is the bragging rights special. Until then, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Toodles. Reverse. No, you gotta reverse get there. Her. No, reverse her. Stacy, go. Stacy, Stacy, no. Yes. Stacey, yes. Yes. no. Yes. Wait, no. what? Why are you getting down? <laughs> yes. Why are you getting down? Yeah. Let's go. Come on, oh Stacy. He's like, hold on, I need my footing here. No. Yeah, kick her in the face. Kick her in the face again. Climb. May May. Yes. There you May. go. Man. Look oh. out. Oh, she oh. got reversed. <laughs> Hit her. May Young.